I always like to record my daily summons, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you've seen that I got a Gangalo, which is an amazing legendary from my free daily summon, so that was awesome. Here we go, 21% chance. This is, it's gonna be any time now, any shard. Here it is, here it is, we got ourselves a Lego. Oh my God, oh, we got Sierra. <laughs> oh, this is huge. This is amazing. This is my second free legendary from the free daily summons. I'm two for two, this is awesome. Hello everybody, my name is Bear Cozy, and today we're playing some more Awaken Chaos Era. Now, if you're coming back here, thank you so much for coming back. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. And if this is your first time here, I strive to make not only entertaining, but also educational content. My videos are real. I don't try to hide anything. I don't try to fluff anything. You see my real struggles and my real progress. I'm really enjoying this game and the real fun for me is in the progress. So in the last video, if you missed it, let me get you caught up. In the last video, we built our Gangalo. We took him to 60. Gangalo is actually a free summon that I got from my free daily summon. So that was awesome. He's a legendary that came from my free daily summons. And that was really, really cool. As you can see, I am really, really struggling for gear. And I currently have him in one Terra set and two Raptor sets for that focus. He is a poisoner and he actually does okay. On his straight, all enemies take 50% more damage from poisons. And of course, his basic deals 70% damage, applies poisons. So he's all about poisons. His special takes all the poisons off and actually heals himself, which gives him a lot of sustainability. And his ultimate deals a bunch of damage, applies poison for two turns. And if the enemy is affected by poison, it applies no positive effects, which is essentially block buffs. Now that was in the last video, I showed my struggle and I showed my progress. Slow and Steady is the name of this game. So today is all about fusing Hakkarin. I finally got what I needed to fuse Hakkarin. I am really, really excited to get him and I wanted to do it on camera together. Fusions in this game are called Synthesis and if you don't know how to find it, it's on the bottom of your screen right between Guild and Quests. You click on Alter, that'll take you to Promote on the left hand side, click on Hero Synthesis, and that will take you to the Fusions tab. Now, right now, I am currently working on Hakron. The champs needed to fuse Hakron are on the bottom. You need a level 30 Evelyn, three star ascended. You need a level 30 CC, which we're going to do that together. Also three star ascended, and as you can see, I have myself an extra copy. You do need yourself a level 30 three star ascended Valak. He's actually pretty good. He's also a good poisoner if you don't have Gangalo. And then the last one you actually need is Malago. Now Malago did take me a little bit to get, but you can pull him and there are also hero matrixes available so you can get him that way as well. So as you can see, I got almost everybody ready. The only one that actually needs to be leveled up is CC and I wanted to do that together on camera. Now that I have all the heroes needed, let's do this together. Now, as you can see, I've already leveled Evelyn to three stars. I've ascended her, so all I can do is go ahead and confirm. She is ready. I have a one out of one and she is ready to go. Next is gonna be my CC. Clicking on her, you could see I locked both copies of her that I have right now, just in case I accidentally sacrifice her. I have sacrificed a couple of heroes in the past accidentally, and I wanted to ignore that, wanted to not repeat that mistake. So let's go ahead and unlock her. Let's go ahead and un unlock the other one as well. And then if we click on her, what we need to do is we actually need to take her to level 30 and I wanna make sure that we are on the correct one. This one is two stars ascended. Let's go ahead and upgrade her. I wanted to do this together. There she is, she is level 20. Let's take her to three stars. I don't remember, I think she has to be 30. So let's go ahead and take her to 30. That actually does get our daily quest out of the way, so that's really cool. Let's take her to 30, let's ascend her last time. And this is gonna be actually awesome. I'm super excited to get Hakron. Hakron is an amazing hero. Okay, there we go. There's our third ascension. She is now three stars. This is super, super cool. 
and I'm very excited. Going back to the hero synthesis, let's go ahead and confirm this one. Let's go ahead and confirm this one. Let's go ahead and confirm this one. And of course, Malaga, we have to unlock him and we can confirm him. So they are now ready to go and this is actually super, super exciting. Hakrin is ready to get synthesized. I am super pumped. If you don't know, right now Hakrin is the only hero in the game that increases your whole party's max HP, which is absolutely amazing. There is nobody else like him just yet, and he is usable basically everywhere. So I'm super excited. I'm sacrificing four champs to get an amazing hero. So here we go. Yes! There he is! Look at him! He's coming to life! Oh my goodness! Look how awesome he looks! We got ourselves a dwarf, and he looks absolutely amazing. I love his shield, I love the tablet, I love his look, and since blue is my favorite color, how can you go wrong? Look at him. So he is actually super, super cool. Let's go ahead and confirm him, and we got ourselves a Hakron, just like that. Hey, you're still watching the video! That means you're enjoying the content. And if you're enjoying the content, that means somebody else will also. Click the subscribe button below and help this video reach more people so they can enjoy it as well. Hello, beautiful. Look at him. He is amazing. And by the way, I hope you're enjoying the video. I try to show not only my process, but my progress also. So I hope this video helps. Let's go through his skills together. Now, looking at his trait really quick, his trait is Ancient Guardian. Grants a team-wide defense bonus equal to 10% of this character's defense rating. So already he boosts the team's defense by 10%. On Ascended, of course, Ascended it goes up to 20, and that will make your whole team much, much tankier. His basic ability deals 40% damage to an enemy, and 50% chance to reduce the cooldown of this character's ultimate, which is awesome. His special is Totem Slam, deals 70% damage to an enemy and applies Taunt for one turn. And of course, Taunt turns off the enemy's ultimate abilities, forcing them to use their basics and attack Hakrin. So that's pretty cool. Taunt is actually fairly good. And the best thing that Hakrin is known for is his ultimate, which is Totemic Charge. Deals 120% damage to an enemy and grants max health up to all team members and it stacks up to three times. Now, the max health up is amazing. As you can see here, their max health goes up by 15% and that's for all team members and it actually stacks up to three times. So between his ultimate, which grants the max health and his passive, which grants a lot of defense, this will give your whole team a whole lot of survivability and will make them a lot tankier and a lot harder to kill. So I am super, super excited to get him. I don't know if I have the gear to make him work just yet, but taking a really quick look at his stats, you could see that his defense is actually S tier and his health is followed right up by A tier. So defense and health is what you want on this guy. If you want the taunts to land on his special, you can actually give him some focus. I'm not too concerned with it. I'll give him some focus as we go. But what I'm primarily going to be using him for is his trait and, of course, his ultimate. I am currently struggling through some of the dungeons like Queen of Tides. I've been doing Queen of Tides 9 and I'm struggling to get my way through 10, 11, 12. So I'm hoping that he actually helps me a lot. So let's go ahead and see. We can actually upgrade his abilities. I've, do, I've done some farming and I actually have a bunch. And since he's an epic, he's not going to take too much work to get upgraded. So that's actually pretty cool. I'm glad I have some extra water gems. I do need a few more, which is unfortunate. I thought I had enough. Going back to the tavern, it's time for our daily summons. I always like to record my daily summons. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you've seen that I got a Gangalo, which is an amazing legendary from my free daily summon. So that was awesome. I've actually got Lunar Maliza, which was really cool, the Lunar Unicorn Girl, and I've got a couple of other things. So I'm super excited to do the daily summons. As you can see, I am up to 21% chance to get a Legendary. So this is going to be any time now. I'm super excited. I hope we get another Lego from our free summons. Let's go ahead and pop this. Here we go. 21% chance. This is, it's going to be any time now, any shard. Here it is. Here it is. We got ourselves a Lego. Oh my God. Oh, we got Sierra. <laughs> 
Oh, this is huge. This is amazing. This is my second free legendary from the free daily summons. I'm two for two. This is awesome. Holy cow. Wow, 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 wow. And this is exactly why I like to record my pulls. This is amazing. Sierra is huge. We just got Hakron, we just got Sierra, and we built Gangalo yesterday. So this is really cool. I like to record these videos. This is super, super cool. That makes me super excited. I got Sierra. Let's take a quick look at her. She looks amazing, and she's actually a really, really good hero. So her trait, Grants one Ventral Spirit, max six stacks upon defeating an enemy. Her basic deals 80% damage to an enemy and applies increased damage taken. Increased damage taken, as you can see, makes them take 30% extra damage, which is unbelievable. And I think that's from everybody, not only her, because if it was only her, it would say from this hero only. So that is her basic, and that is huge. Dark Spread is her passive. When an enemy's health is under 50%, deals 70% damage to all enemies. She actually deals 70% damage to all enemies, so she essentially gets an extra turn when one of your heroes gets an enemy below 50%. So that is really, really cool. She is a super strong hero. Darkness Falls is her ultimate. Expends all Vengeful Spirits and deals 180% damage to an enemy. This attack deals plus 10 bonus damage per Vengeful Spirit expended. So that's actually really cool. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to work on her. Definitely going to upgrade her for sure. Definitely going to level her for sure. So let's go ahead and give her a couple abilities, see what we get. Maybe we can level her and start using her soon. I am very, very lacking on gear. I do have to farm some more gear. And for that, I need a better team to go farm Queen of Tides. So Dark Spread, there we go. We got a couple more. Let's give her a couple more, see what we can do. This is actually super, super cool. And I'm super excited. As you can see, my videos are real. They're raw. I don't try to hide anything. And I, I actually like to show my success, my struggles, and my progress as well. So I hope you like the realism of this, these videos. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know that you are liking the realism of these videos. Maybe subscribe, hit that thumbs up. That will help my channel grow. And this will actually help the videos reach more people like you. If you've made it this far, that means you're enjoying the content. If you click the subscribe button below, that will help me tremendously. I thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.